Yeah, come, keep it coming. I'm having fun. <laughs> okay, so I know you were the only state legislator to speak out on the bill that makes critical race theory a requirement for high school graduation. No other state legislator spoke out on the floor against that bill. Do we have any hope of changing that? We are definitely dealing with that locally yep. in our local yeah. boards right now. Yeah, so this is, uh, I forget the bill number. It's the uh, quote unquote ethnic studies bill, uh, but it's CRT. And you know, maybe one of the reasons no one spoke on the floor is because if you do speak against this, what do they call you? You know, you're you know, fill in the blank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> the next time anyone calls you that for opposing CRT, uh, you can point something out. And you know, I was asked the other day, what is one thing Gavin Newsom has done right? And I was stumped. I mean, that is a hard question. Right? And then it hit me. Gavin Newsom, two years ago, was opposed to CRT. Everyone was. The first version of this curriculum came out. It was released by the Board of Education, and it was universally condemned. Everyone, not just Newsom, but including Newsom. Newsom said, this is a quote, is offensive in so many ways. He said, it will never see the light of day. So Gavin Newsom said, so anyone that knows you, oh, you're opposing CRT, you're X, Y, and Z, and I guess Gavin Newsom is too. Or at least the 2019 version of it was. The California Legislative Jewish Caucus that year, they wrote a letter uh, on this topic about this <laughs> curriculum, and they said that it echoes the propaganda of the Nazi regime. Actually, they said this is 12 Democrat legislators, by the way. And so what happened? Well, of course, we scrapped the whole thing and threw it out and said, we're never going to do that. And we, right? That's what happened. <laughs> and of course, we, should, we brought accountability to whoever came up with this. In this era of, of cancel culture, people have lost their jobs for things a lot less serious than trying to teach Nazi propaganda to high school students. But no, of course, that's not what happened. They said, all right, we'll make a few tweaks. We'll make a few edits. And then we'll impose it on every high school student in California. See, that's the important point, which you mentioned, Don. This isn't just allowing CRT to be taught in our schools. It's requiring CRT to be taught in our schools. It is truly a radical proposition, making this a graduation requirement. But the thing that I think we really, really need to emphasize in this battle is we need to not just defeat CRT, uh, but we need to understand why it is that this has gotten a foothold in our schools to begin with. And for me, the main reason uh, is that we don't teach true civics anymore. Right? I mean, it is really sad, and maybe it's like a little add-on to some curriculum they'll throw in there, but that's not the way we've traditionally understood a civic education. It was actually part and parcel of your larger education. It was a unifying thread of your education, in a sense. That, you know, uh, an education, getting an education, being an educated person is about preparing for citizenship, to participate in the great American experiment of self-government, giving you the tools to form your own views uh, an identity uh, for yourself, and to you know to, to participate in the life of your community, and to understand why America is the greatest country in the world, and the principles and the, the values and traditions that have made this country so great. That's not the way we teach civics anymore. And so I see CRT as coming in and really just exploiting that uh, vacuum. You know, the the proponents of this are basically saying, well, we're no longer teaching kids how to build their communities up, so we'll come along and teach them how to tear their communities down. Yeah. Yeah. I call it the anti-civics. Yeah. So yes, we need to win the battle against CRT, and we need to have school choice so that if they try to teach it, you can take your child and their funding elsewhere. But we also need to you know, win the larger battle of actually you know, reforming education so we're teaching our kids the right things about America. Right. 